This is a message for those who can't quite seem to grasp how I can believe in a God that I can't see. Well, I guess for me it's easy because that same God, he was the first one that ever believed in me. And though I may be way down on the family tree, I still walk in authority because I see my father every time I notice a mirror's reflection in me. No, not saying I'm some sort of deity, but I'd be lying if I told you that I wasn't royalty for I'm a child the king of kings the one who set the heights of the mountains the depths of the seas and everything in between see this great god my black skin was fearfully and wonderfully made in his image and oh how i'm blessed to be a part of his sacred village israel what still not sure how i know that he's real well i guess i'll just have to give you a few details on how he took a boy and turned him into a young man that's unable to fail because much like a loving parent when I was busy raising all hell, he made me grow up before he posted my bail. But when he saw that trouble started to prevail, oh, thank you, Lord, he hid me like a seashell, hides a precious dime. When did he rescued from darkness and continues to take his time with always molding me closer to perfection? Yes, I, I must admit the cuts hurt at times, but I'm thankful that they're a loving correction and oh so grateful that he's long suffering in his lessons and plentiful with his blessings, not because we deserve it, but because the creators had a melanin affection ever since he made mention on the seventh day. After he'd formed the whole world and raised a dark man up out of dirt and clay, that all he did create, he didn't call it good. He called it great. So when it comes to the skin I'm in, I'll never be ashamed nor afraid because my creator, he never called it by the name of Gentile nor slave. So I want you to know that despite our community's current pain, added on to our ancient ancestors' mistakes, we are still and will forever be an Afro-Hebraic state, one who he created to be great, the chosen people of the one true and living God and in his image. We were fearfully and wonderfully.